Good evening, everybody. Welcome, welcome, and welcome. As usual, we'll give some time for some people to hop in. Um, tonight, it's going to be very casual. I'm just going to... I'm gonna, I've got the PC version of, of Rage open. I'm going to go through... Um, there's a couple of things I wanted to check in the game. And, um, you know, see if anybody got any questions. That sort of thing. Just basically very casual, very just chat and stuff. Hey, come here. You need to make an appearance. It's puppy time. This is a puppy. He's a good boy. It's Coco. Star of the show. Mm -hmm. You're really what people are here to see, right? Not me at all. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna flip over here and I'll actually remember to, yeah, switch screen. Okay. Hello, my dear, from the other room. <laughs> so, um, what was the one thing? Oh, yeah, the one thing I wanted to do, uh, I noticed there was a chair, or there was a, um, Sure, a table. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go to maps. We're gonna go to level two. So I'll see how this stream goes because the Unreal Editor is a little bit more power hungry than games themselves. So. Um, I'm not sure how it's gonna, okay. So this is what the dungeon level looks like. And if I remember correctly, there was a table over here. This one right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into my indestructibles. Find it, indestructibles folder. And this is everything that's destructible in the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to find our base one, which is um, it is a chair. Where is it? Here it is. And we're going to dupe this. Come on. All right. Create a child then. Um, so we'll call this uh, done. P. And then we'll open this up. Let's throw it in my screen here. So first thing we got to do is we got to change the, the, the mesh. Um, all the destructible stuff are all static meshes. Um, the difference between a static mesh and a skeletal mesh is that a static mesh doesn't have a skeleton in it. It can't be rigged. Um, so for the for the destructible thing, don't mind the snowmobile going by if you can hear it. Um, there's a lot of them that go by because we're part of a trail. Um, because we don't need to rig any of our destructible stuff, a static mesh works just fine. So this is our. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go here. I'm going to go back here to this. I'm going to. Um, browse to asset so now I know where it is right so I open this up I grab this drop it in here oh, oh let me, I don't want to let me. One second. 
should let me. Why isn't it letting me? Is that the wrong one? Oh, that's a preset. Okay, that's why it won't let me. So I need to find the actual table. Um, I'm going to move this over here just for a sec. So furniture. I need to find the actual table. So this is the table that we want. So I'm going to drag this over here. I won't let me. Okay, this is new. This is a new one. I've never come across this before. Uh, I need to find the mesh. Those are blueprints, that's why. Okay, so I need to go to mesh. And I need to find the table. There we are. That's a static mesh. Okay. I was trying to add a blueprint, that's why it wasn't working. Okay, so did I close that by accident? I did, didn't I? Um, back here. I'm gonna look for the one that says table. Okay, where are you? Why don't I see it? Am I blind? Wow. Dungeon table. It was dungeon table. That's why I didn't see it. Duh. Okay. So, I'm going to move this back to. I can probably find it in here. It's a static mesh. That's blueprint. Static mesh. So now if I drop this in here, it is now a table. So what I'll do is I'll increase this because uh, this thing right here, this capsule, that's your collision. That's um when you cross it with a weapon or whatever, that's your collision that tells you to, you know. So it needs to be widened so that it'll work. Right. And go back here. Now, these are all, this is all the fields uh, for the actual. So what I do is I go up here. So now I have a mesh in there. I'm going to give it 100 health. Um, interactive sound. Do I have another one? I have a wooden one, don't I? Stone. Yeah, I know they say arrow, but that's not it. Where is the one for wood? I need wood. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna go back to see this is a metal and I want a I want one that hits wood but wood. Okay, we'll choose that one. And then this is our hit effect. And then destroyed sound. This is I'll choose that one. So when it breaks, that's what you hear.
gifted a one tier sub to C4 Manic. Thanks, Cabot. That is awesome of you. Enjoy your sub if you're in the chat. I'm not sure if you are. I know it get, when you gift subs, it gives it to whoever's on my follow list. So he might not even be here. But uh, let's do five gold. Ten gold, five to ten gold. So this is where we put in our uh, total amount of gold mount, and then how much, like a range between whatever, right? So this is a randomness that we put in, which is really cool. It, it's, uh, and then right here, this gives you a sneak peek. We already have the debris system set up in the game, so I wish it alerted me when somebody chatted. So that I could, so that when somebody chats, I can look over. That's the one thing it doesn't do. I have to figure out how to do that. But yes, hello, Cabot. Um, but yeah, there, here's the, here's the, uh, do you know what? I'll actually show you that. I'll go and I'll add it onto something and I'll show you. It. You can see how it works. Um, but yeah, we can, uh, we can do different kinds. So there's one for wood, there's one for stone. Um, and then we can, we can make one specifically for an object. If we want, we can do that too. So let's see, uh, how much rage, where's my rage, rage damage. I'm going to do five. So it got a hundred health. When you destroy it, it takes five rage away from you. And then you get five to 10 gold. Now, the cool part is I do this. I go to interactables, and I do table. Make sure that I click it, and then I can do this. I can go replace actor with this, and then it just automatically replaces it there. So that's how I made all the levels. I would go through, and I would put the props I want out. And I would set up the level the way I want it. And then once I know what props I needed, then I went in and started making them into these. And then I would go and just replace them like that. So now this table and everything on it is destructible now. And that's how easy it is. But it's you've got to build the levels first, right? Like this one's destructible. I know it's destructible because it's got a, a, a collision around it. So like this one is as well. Those books are not. Or are they? Yes, they are. So everything on here is destructible. That's destructible. Or no, wait a minute. I don't think that is either. Oh, it is. Okay. Is this destructible? It is. There you go. So basically anything with um, a capsule on it is destructible. So you can look around and you can see everything. This one has it just right there, right there, right there. The stool isn't one, so we should maybe do that. Do the stool too. So just like we did before, we'll make a child of this. We'll call this wooden stool GT. We'll call it wooden stool too, because I know I have a wooden stool somewhere. And why am I getting emails? Um, so yeah, and then we'll go here and we'll go and find the stool. Is it a wooden stool? Is it called wooden stool? I think so. Yeah. And then we're looking for the one that's, um, turquoise. So that's a static mesh. So we're going to drag that and drop that into here. We're going to adjust this, um, capsule because it doesn't quite need to be that big because you don't want to walk up to it and with just anything right so there's that okay and then we'll go back up to this and then we're going to do we'll leave it as 50 uh we'll do a range damage of three uh destroyed sound we'll do the wooden one again because i like it 
I have others, so let me see if I have it. This is a barrel breaking. That might be good. Um, metal. Like pots. That one might fit. Yeah, let's do that one. Um, arrow hit, we'll leave that. Actually, there's a wooden one, isn't there? Let's do the wooden hit. Hit wood. Okay, and then gold. We'll leave it at one to three. Because stools don't have gold. Maybe there'll be chains sitting on top of it you don't see. All right, and then you just go back to go to the stool. We can find it. See, because I already have a wooden stool there. So this one, we're going to do replace, and then it just replaces it. So that you're not going to, I, I may go through at some point and I may put some more stuff on the wall because we're going to have characters that can do ranged attacks. And with a ranged attack, you'll be able to hit things on the wall, right? So I'm probably going to make a pass um, when we do the uh, expansion after the Indiegogo. I'll probably make a pass through all the levels and add some stuff on the walls and stuff so you, people can shoot them with a range. Because there's plans to add a ranger, a female ranger, ranged, ca ranged character of some kind. She won't be a ranger, but, um, but yeah. So that that's in in the works. Um, okay, so there's nothing else. That's all. This is all breakable in here. I don't think there's anything else that isn't breakable. So yeah, these doors, these are going to lead to other areas. I'm going to add, and we're not sure whether we're going to add them on right to the level or if we're going to make them instances where you, when you go through the door, you have an artifact and the artifacts allow you to destroy the door. Okay. That's the way we're going to have it. So Right now, if you walk up to that door and you swing at it, nothing happens. But if you have an artifact in your inventory on you, then the door becomes active and you can you can smash it. That's the way we're gonna do it. So, so yeah, I've got multiple doors where we can add levels, but I'm just not sure how we're going to do the levels yet what what's more effective see there's another door there that i'll be able to do so um that's the plan okay so that level's good so i'm gonna have to go um see because we have two versions we have the pc version and we have the um the mobile version, any change I make to one, I have to go and make in the other one. So I'm going to make a note here. Because if I don't, my old mind will forget. Okay. Um, oh, there's a piece of paper. So, dungeon, table, and wooden stool. Okay. All right. So let's go. Um, let's go back to my interactives and I'll show you. Um, I think it was this one. 
that if I go down and I go to the debris, debris, we're going to do interactables, and then we do wooden. Right? And then we'll do, so now if I go, if I go to the original level, and I play this, I smash this table. Wow. I think I did the wrong table. I think I have to be I know there's two tables in my interactions, and I can't remember which one. So, sorry if the music's a bit loud. Um, so that's not the one. Get back here, and we'll turn this off. So, there is another bar to I don't, I need to figure out why I have two bar tables. I just haven't looked into it yet. Um, but I know the bar stool works, so let's do that one. So, so it's either it's interactable or explosion base. I can't remember which one is which. I think it's that one. So let's try that one. Aaron TV, thank you so much for the follow and welcome. With the TV, TTV in your uh, username, I would assume you're doing some kind of uh, streaming yourself. There you go. So that gives you an idea. <laughs> they don't work very well, but it's there. Um, so let's see if we can play with that because I know uh, it's under rage items. Where is it? Debris. Okay. Wooden debris. Yeah, this is the one. So, so the one I had working was actually in the. Um, So that's why it's not working. Okay, because I don't, hang on a second. Let's see if I can, I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna open up the other version of the game because that's the one that has all the changes in it that work. So we're gonna go there. It shouldn't take too long. So yeah, so we'll open up. This is the actual mobile version. We're still trying to figure out a pipeline that allows us to have both versions of the game in one project instead of always having to when we make a change in one having to copy files over or manually make changes in the other we're still trying to find a um like a work work pipeline for that because and we're going to figure something out before the expansion because once we get the expansion going it there's i mean three new characters three new levels like it's it's going to be insane that's a lot of information to have to transfer back and forth so you know, something's going to break if we do that. Um, okay, so let's go interactables. 
First, I want to check something. Uh, where's my rage stuff? Rage items, debris, wooden. This should, yeah, okay, so this is the stool. So I basically, because of the debris system that we're going to have to use, I would have liked to have used chaos, but like I said in last night's stream, in order to use chaos, we'd completely have to rewrite the game. And uh, we just don't want to do that. For Rage 2, we're definitely going to be using a Chaos. Um, because it's a heck of a lot more efficient. And um, with the way Unreal 5 uses it now, it's, it's, it works really well now. So, But for this, for right now, we're going to use this debris system. And what that makes, what, that ha what I have to do for that is I have to make eat each individual piece to make it look like it's part of whatever is exploding, which isn't a big deal. Like I made one leg and I made the top of the stool, right? They're very, very low poly. I think the, the legs are less than four polys, either four or six polys. And then the, 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 um, the seat, my, what my daughter's having a meltdown on my distraction. Uh, the stool seat is like, I think it's less than five or something. So it's very low poly. It shouldn't affect very much. And they disappear. So once you smash it, you see them and they land on the floor. And then after about three seconds, they disappear. So they're not going to really affect performance that much. So, okay. So that, so it's there. This is, the, this is the version that has it. So if I go in our interactables and I go to stool. And then I go to here and I go. I'm going to do interactive and then I'm going to do wooden. So this will give you The uh, the mobile version is a little bit different than the PC version. Um, one main difference is the lighting. Everything looks completely different in mobile. Turn the volume down. Um, the main, the big main difference is. Um, like I said, the lighting, because um, you're only allowed two um, dynamic lights in each scene. Um, when you're on an outdoor area, that's great, because you only need one technically, right, for the, for the directional lights in the scene. But for indoors like this, you have to trick it. So I have two spotlights in this scene, and I have the cones spread out really wide. So it's, that's why you can see he's got a, a shadow and it's dynamic, right? So I cheated it, right? And because the rest are all static. These are all static shadows, right? But I felt that without the dynamic shadows, it just, it made the characters look very, I don't know. They just didn't have any ambient occlusion on them. They looked stale washed out they didn't look like they were even part of the environment right but anyway so yeah if i break this stool it breaks into pieces right and then they disappear so that's what the debris system is going to be like right but like i said i have to make each individual i have to make pieces and what we're hoping we can do is reuse them so like um so I, I'm like, if I make a wooden plank, right? Just a plain, just a plain old wooden plank. I want, I put, I use the same textures as was on the original model, and that makes it look like it was that model. That's why that stool looks like it was the stool of the world, even though it's not. Right? It's because I use the original um, textures so that it looks like it is the stool. Right? So all these little tricks that I've been using to sort of you know, get things to to 
look and feel the way that I want them to, right? Um, because if we, and, and the reason we did that is we're trying to keep, because of mobile mainly, right? We were trying to keep the game under a gigabyte because any more than that, then you got to go into this whole system where you have to actually do, um, I can't even remember what it's called right now, but like they're add-ons. So the person would download the main file, which is a gig, but then they'd have to add or download even more. Uh, and I can't remember what it's called. I'd have to look it up. Um, but it's like almost like extra files, right? And we may, I don't know if we'll have to get into it with the expansion, but we'll, I'm trying, we're using as many assets as we can. Like we're trying to reuse as many assets we can so that we don't run into a size issue. Um, like I know f there's another two levels going in. Um, one of them is going to be pirate themed and the other one's going to be Flintstone office themed. So the pirate is it going to be a brand new, I have a, I have a pack already found and I just need the money to buy it. Um, the Flintstone one, a lot of the assets that are in this pack right here, this, uh, bumping thing, I can use a lot of these for the Flintstone. Um, so all I got to do is add little, like, for instance, this chair, like what I could do for the chair to make it look more Flintstone-y. I could go to the interactable mesh or the mesh itself and I could add some stones in there. Like just physically add static models to it to make it look more, to change it up to make it look different, right? So like I could put a stone in the back for the seat and for the, just to make it look like it's more Stone Age, like from the Flintstones. So little things like that, I'm going to use tricks like that. I'm going to use, so... That way I don't have to uh, add more content to the project because like I said, we're trying to keep it under a gig. And right now it's right around 300 megs, I think. Hey, uh, is there, there must be a cool down. Did I put a cool down on the chat? Sorry about that. Put that for a reason, I think. I can't remember why. But welcome to the welcome to the uh, stream. So yeah, that's just examples of what I'm trying to do. To uh, yeah, sorry about that. But there's a reason I did that, and it's because um, I'm getting a lot of people. Like we had one last night. Actually, he hopped into the stream. He only followed and hopped into the stream just to offer me his marketing services, and I'm not interested. So stuff like that, it, it kind of deters some people from getting in there and just advertising. So they got to wait 10 minutes. Okay. So that's, that's the debris system. It works awesome. Uh, and when it's done, it's going to look great. Oh, good. Commercials are working. Good. Thank you for telling me that. If you subscribe, you don't get commercials. You're not supposed to get commercials if you subscribe. Are you subbed, Cabot? I know you're gifting subs, <laughs> but are you actually subbed yourself? Have to check on that. I thought when you were subbed, you didn't get the commercials. Awesome, Aaron. That's awesome. Is that your how you pronounce it, Aaron? No, that's great. And this this channel is specifically for that. So if you have any questions, I've been doing this for a while myself. I'm uh, going on about ten years. I've got two games under my belt so far. So if you have any questions, I don't know a lot about Unity. Most of my game development experiences in Unreal. 
Um, so, but if I can be of any help, if you have any questions, please. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> well, I'm a modeler as well. I, I do 3D modeling and I do texturing, a um, little bit of rigging, but I'm also a, I've been a graphic designer for more than 25 years and I've colored comics. Um, I don't think I've ever showed these on the stream, but this is one game I made. It's called Farts. Um, and then my other game I made is called Stupid. Um, it's a lot like when I was younger, I played all kinds of card games. That's what I did. Um, that's all I did. I loved card games. So what I did with Stupid is I took all the best parts of all the different games I like and I put them into one game. So I did all the art myself. Um, so basically uh, you have what you're called common sense points and you play common sense to play stupid cards. And you have neighbors just like in magic and you use your neighbors to battle, battle other neighbors. It's, yeah. If you have a link to your game, throw it in the chat so other people can see it, so I can see it. You can throw links in. I'm pretty sure I allowed it. Won't show links. Um, I don't know how to turn that on. My mod isn't here, so um, give me a sec here. See if I can figure out how to turn it on. Eggman's pivot animation is incredibly slow. Oh, shut up. Uh, just give me one sec here, guys. I don't have a night bot, do I? Um, what you could do, Aaron, is hang on a second here. Because I'm very interested to see what other people are working on and uh, if I can give any advice. I have a Discord. There should be a link to it in my. Uh, but I will post it for you either way. It's not letting me do it. Oh. It's making me log in. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> That's too funny. Yeah, it's not letting me log in. Okay. Um, if you go into my Twitch, I'm pretty sure there is a... Yeah. YouTube yeah. Twitch. YouTube yeah. Twitch. <sighs> yeah, I didn't I didn't add one for some reason. That was stupid. But I do have a Discord and 
if somebody I'm trying to think of how I can do this. Why won't why didn't I have allow links? I wonder where I shot that. Hmm. got to be a way to allow links. I can't remember how to do it. Uh, Twitter or Instagram? Send me a message. Or you can, I can do that. Hang on a second. I'm trying to find it. It's just, Twitch is trying to um, find it. It's Thingamajiggy is so weird. Tool settings. I am looking. I don't see it. Um, do I allow Twitch? Whoops. How do I allow links? Twitch. Chat. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that's great. Can you tell me where it is? Doesn't tell me where it is. Where is it? Hmm. And there isn't a search function, which sucks. Oh, I got it. There we go. You whispered it to me. That's good enough. I will figure out how to allow links because if I'm going to be doing this and allowing people to, I want to be able to see people's games and what they're working on. So allowing links is just something I'm going to have to. But yeah, this looks good, man. I like uh, the ISO metric look. Very Zelda like. Is that what you were going for? What's the game called? Or do you have a game called? Game yet? Looks very cool. I like it. I like the sprites. They're cute. You've been working on this for two years, you said? You said. Looks good. No, man. Congrats on that. That's Kingdom of Allah. Long? That's cool. When you have a playable version, I'd love to play it. I'll play it on stream for you. That's the other thing I want to do is, um, you know, indie guys that are um, looking to get their game seen by more out, more sets of eyes. I want to be able to do that. So that's why I want this channel to grow. I want it to be ridiculously big because I want to be able to give people that platform to be able to show off their games. And I'm eventually going to set up a um, an online document that you have to, so you could fill it in and give me some bit, bits of information. So I can look at the game beforehand. Why have I heard of that? Hey, Fort Dan. 
Thanks for stopping in, buddy. Haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, I've seen Aeon. I've heard of that before. No, I like it though. I, I really like the style of it. Very NES. Uh, I love the NES. It's my favorite system. I mean, I like the N64 too. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you uh, joined the chat, Aaron, and showed that game. That's I. I'm pretty sure that everybody's going to want to play that game when it comes out. How far away from being done are you or getting any kind of a demo? Do you are you working on it yourself or do you have anybody else helping you? All right. Uh so I turn that off. Wow, fantastic. See, I can't code. I can do a little bit of code in Unreal. Um, so I'm not sure how long you've been in the chat, but the game I've got up on my screen now, it's called Rage. That's my main game. That's the game I'm working on right now. Um, if you haven't, go download it. Visual coding. Yeah, I've... <laughs> yeah. No, so, don't mind, mind my daughter. Uh So we're going to close this. And I want to Oh, actually not what I want to do. I want to go here. Just give me a sec, guys. I figure well, we're talking about this sort of thing. Um, maybe I'll show off the Chronicle too, because that that was my first game. The Chronicle was my first game, Aaron, and it was a, like a first-person horror game. And yeah, I'm, I've, that's what I've decided that this is recently too. just decided that my, all my channels are going to be devoted to indie guys, indie game development, indie game support. Um, so you've joined at the right time. Okay. So I need to figure out where my game is. Uh, Did a package. I'm trying to remember where I put the package. I need to figure this out. Hang on a sec, guys. been a while since i've run the game like i i i packaged like i did a bunch of work on it but a month ago and i got did a bunch of optimizing in it and i was able to get the file the packed file size from 12 gigs down to six gigs hmm Trying to make things visual that the player understands, but X thing is but only able to use four shards of green. Oh, four shades of green. Okay. Yeah. That's tough. Um my suggestion would be your best friend would be shapes. 
obviously. And um, effects of some kind. Like, um, I didn't notice if you had any any visual effects. Yeah. Okay. So, like with Zelda, I mean, obviously they had more colors than you, but have you tried looking at Zelda on Game Boy and seeing how they did it? Because that was a problem they had when they put Zelda on the Game Boy. It was monochrome. It was only shades of green. Maybe look at that and see how they did it with theirs. What they did. Because I know they put like bushes in the way when they didn't want you to go somewhere. Okay. So, I mean, that's, that. I would have to say that's the best thing, best advice I could give. See how they did it, right? Like, if they didn't want you to go somewhere, they put something up in front of you. Pardon me, guys. I'm trying to find this uh, packed file I did, my Chronicle. I think, I think I know where I put it. Oh, there it is. There we go. Update four. Is this the one? Let's see if this is it. So this this right here, this is the chronicle. This is my book. And I did 90% of the game myself. I had a little bit of help with some of the code, but I didn't want to help So again, this one's built in Unreal 5. Um, it's kind of like a horror. <laughs> there are jump scares, uh, but I won't, I won't trigger any for you. I just want you to see the game and see how beautiful it looks. Um, this is probably one of the most atmospheric games I've ever seen. Um, but you're a detective. Um, and the whole point is you got to find, you, the whole point is to get into the building. Um, there's this, this is a portal. You find out later that this is a portal here. 
and you gotta put you gotta put gems in the in the portal to activate it and that's how you escape yeah there's ufos there's a that's a building i made um that blimp over there that's one of my models as well um, that's just ambient sounds atmosphere and then over here this is uh one of my one of my models as well oh no it's not here so this must not be the, the proper file this is a different file but there's a flashlight you can turn on this dog i think you can pet him no you can't you can't pet that one uh this is an older build i think but this gives you an idea of what the game looks like right but this is my first game this is i took me Three and a half months to make it. Thanks for dropping in. Don't forget to lurk, buddy. Yeah. Um, before I decided to make my own game, I worked for a company called Missing Worlds Media as a volunteer. I did uh, a lot of graphic design um, and... I did a lot of 3D art, or not, 3D, um, I made a lot of the clothing for the superhero. It's, it was a superhero MMO I was working on. Is it stuck? It's stuck? Okay. Refresh, Cabot. So this is not, this is not the version. Uh, that I was thinking. So let me see if I can find the actual version. Um, wondering if this is the one here. As I remember fixing a lot of the audio issues I was having. I I'll tell you if it's the real, the good version. Yep, this is the this is the real version. Because there's this house over here. This is a log, and a, um, there's chickens that attack you. Come on. Ah! He attacks you. So the chickens attack you. Um, you can go in this house. Ah! Uh, turn on the flashlight. And then there's a key over here that you can pick up. And that's for the front door. <laughs> to the Chronicle. Well, when you have your demo to a point where it's playable, let me know. So here's the inside of the Chronicle, this cat. You can interact with it. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I took inspiration from Mist. Um, that skull way down there, that's a jump scare. But there's all sound, like you can hear the sound effects from the footwalk. That's all stuff I put in. There's a jump scare there. I'll avoid that one. There's some jump scares in here, but you you, you see how the lighting is just so good. But uh, yeah, I mashed this together in in about three months. You'll get there. You'll get there. Learning the pipeline is the most important part. 
learning how to organize yourself, learning what you need to do before you do, like, I need to do this before I can do this, before I can do this. That's what you need to learn. You need to learn the pipeline. key is oh yeah there's one over here so so you can hear the footsteps walking in the rain so I put I used a, a plug-in called open land this uh, ghost over here she'll chase you so I'm gonna go this way Because there is a button behind this tree over here. That raises this chest up over here. You didn't hear it because I have the sound turned on. Don't go away. Back to wandering. Get away from me. Go away. gem so I got a gem if you hope I got an inventory and it shows you what you have you go away um, so there's four gems you got to collect the four gems put them in the base of the um, portal and the portal activates which is kind of cool to watch um, and then it it uh, then you walk through it but look at the sky it's just Um, pretty much everything, there's a reason for it. Uh, there's also notes you can find that you can read. So, like, I, I put a lot in, like, we want to remake the game. The, the current team I have, I have, there's me, and then I have my coder, which he's phenomenal. He's been helping me with Rage. And then my executive producer, Work Habit, who is in the chat. Um, we want to redo Chronicle and uh, update it. Yeah. So. But yeah, that's Rage. Pause menu. Yeah, that's Rage. Yeah, it's a cool game. You gotta play it. It's like a dollar on Igio. Igio. It's like a buck. So you go try it. Rage is free. You can download it on mobile. Um, here I'll play Rage a little bit. I'll show you Rage. Um, it's on mobile, Android right now, and PC. Uh, rage is basically uh, rage is basically a anger stress management game so you basically go in and you smash everything um, there's like there's actually there's lore to the game like if you go in here there's tells you about the wizard that made the made the uh, the realm of rage so that you could go in and smash things and kill things and there's no repercussions because nothing's real it's all made up um, and then you got there's a shop that you can go to and you can buy you can buy new characters you can unlock characters um, this is the character you start with skeleton and then you got your mage and then a void walker kitty cat and then you got uh, your levels. You got to unlock your levels. There's a dungeon level, and then there's a graveyard level. So far, we're about to do an Indiegogo to do an expansion, which will add a whole bunch more 
to the game. And then these are power-ups. When you unlock these, they start spawning in the game when you smash things. And when you pick them up, they stack. Um, and then, then there's upgrades. There's this one, which is your rage bar. Um, your rage bar starts full. And as you're smashing things, it, it goes down. And then a boss spawns. And then you kill the boss. And then you collect your gold and stuff that you need. Um, but there's like gold mag there's a gold magnet that sucks gold in so that you can just run around and everything comes in sucks into you and then there's a stash which you can increase this up here i played this yesterday for one and a half hours and i've scratched the surface of the game in an hour and a half yeah like it's it's really cool game like and it and i, I can't remember how long it took us we, we did a soft launch in November. So it's only been out for like a month and a half-ish. And the, the, the feedback we're getting has been really good. So we decided that we were going to do it because there's a whole bunch more stuff we want to add and we just ran out of money. So we decided to do an Indiegogo and that'll help with uh, getting some of the assets we need. And I want to be able to pay Void a little bit of money because he's put a lot of time in for nothing so um oh yeah i'll show you what the game's like i'll play i'll play around for you we'll use the mage and then we'll build the dungeon but this is this is what the game looks like and this is your rage bar it starts full and as you smash things you collect gold right gold spawns and you collect the gold which goes up here and then at the end of the at the end of the round it gets transferred to your stash um and you notice like when i smash that barrel it dropped my rage down um so i've got a bunch of stuff upgraded already so you'll notice as i break stuff You'll see uh, power-ups drop. Like that's a power-up right there that I just picked up. And now it's a, there's three of them actually I just picked up. And you see them up here now. Uh, one's for damage. One's for damage area. And then one's for gold. Yeah, this is... Dude, this is a fun game. If you have not downloaded it, you've got to get it. This game is so much fun. And everything's got physics, you can knock stuff over, like it's just the same. Full dynamic shadows and lighting. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty wild. And the metal soundtrack. This game is heavily inspired by Diablo. Um, Skyrim and an old game from the NES called Killer Instinct. It's an old fighting game. And it's got controller support too, so if you want to play with a controller you can. Like we went all out with this game. And I think it has the potential to be pretty epic if we can put everything we want in. The next character I want to put in is a, um, it's like a Hulk. He's just physical character. There's another power up. Um, that just goes around and smashes the crap everything out of everything that is. Um, that's the character I want. That's my gonna be my favorite character. He's gonna have a foot stomp for an AOE, um, and then he's gonna have like a hand clap like the Hulk does like this for cone attack for multiple and then he's going to have a probably either a single or an overhead hand smash for single targets and then there's plans uh to add a fourth attack for everybody so. once you get 
all your once you start getting all your up upgrades, then things start being start getting quicker. And there's my boss, which is a slime. He interrupts your attacks. So you have to time them. And when you do enough damage, he splits. Like that. So he splits into multiple. And then when you kill these guys, they split into even more. And then there's your tally screen. So, um, you got your, your base game time, then your, you get your gold bonus which takes off from your final time and it keeps track of your best in your yep that's rage it's pretty fun it's so much fun but yeah pretty cool So, um, trying to think of what else I wanted to do, um, or I wanted to talk about, I can't remember. I wrote it down, but let's see here. Uh, so yeah, I mentioned the mandate for the channels. We're going to go fully into NDT, ND now. Um, I think probably for next stream, which will be on Wednesday, I'm probably going to get, I'm going to download a few games from itch.io and uh, we're going to play those on stream just so we can give some of these indie guys, I'll pick some that haven't been, that don't have a lot of downloads and stuff that aren't getting much attention so that I can give them a, give them a platform. That's hopefully my plan to do that with. I'm going to try to stay away from really popular indie games because they already have the notoriety that they need. I'm, I want to help the smaller guys like me, like um, between all the platforms, I think Rage has got like 60 down, 50, 60 downloads and Chronicles got like 180. So um and i don't have a very big social media presence so i don't i mean i post everything but nothing really so yeah so that's why the streaming i'm hoping that it'll help with all of that as it, so it's going to be helping me but it's going to be helping other people as well that's the point is to to help everybody involved all right um okay so let's go back to the mobile PC version, because I want to talk about some things. Dog is completely dead at my feet. Okay, so I want to show you guys the. Um, I should have done this with a PC version. This is the graveyard. And I don't think I've showed it on stream yet. This is the third level in the game. It's $100,000 to unlock. Um... The boss... Why is it compiling shaders? Um, the boss is the coolest boss. It's so cool. So this is the graveyard. You know what? I think I'm going to... 
I'm going to open up this on PC because it's it looks nicer than on the mobile game looks really good. Don't get me wrong. It looks good, but I just like I like running it on a PC. Uh, but part of the part of the reason we're doing the Indiegogo as well is because we're trying we want to get the game on iOS, which it is not yet. And it's $120 a year to have it on iOS. The game literally is ready to be ported over. We just don't have the money to pay for the to pay for it. So that's why we're going to be holding the Indiegogo. And it's, it'll be in Feb on February 1st is when we're going to launch that. There's a pre-launch going on right now. If you look in my Twitch, it's there. So you can look at it. Um, so... So I'm going to go to the third map um, and play it so you guys can see it. Guys, give you guys sort of like a, a taste of what it looks like. Um, it's using, the skeletons are using the debris system. So they literally fall apart. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, this is the, so we'll play it here. So there's skeletons. They fall apart the bones. And there's also zombies. And the music stopping only because I'm using um, Streamlabs. For some reason, Streamlabs does not work with my game on this level. Any other level is fine. It's just this level. So uh, we're still trying to figure out why that bug is happening. Because if anybody wants to stream this, um, we're going to have a hard time. Because <laughs> the music is back. Oh, there it's back again. Oh, that's because it's looping now. I set it to loop. So there's this big trap here. If you can, you want to send me it, I'll I'll play it. And if it's if it's not too buggy, I might play it on stream. So the graveyard level, there's a couple places. This tower here, that's going to be a level um, a secret area. This secret area should be blocked by a rock, but the rock. Can't That last night when I was playing, it should be like that. You want chests, guys. Chests have the most gold, and they're also going to be where gems will spawn. Our boss. He is scary. Snowball ranged attack. We just gave him that. There you go. 
that is the graveyard level. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, that visual effect where when you hit the guy and it that ice circle appears, that's new. I just put that in and it looks awesome. It came out really cool. Avin, dude, I haven't seen you in forever. How's it going, buddy? Thanks for dropping by the stream. You've missed a lot. Have you been here for very long? You just missed the most epic snow snowman fight. So have you ever seen Rage? Have I ever played it? Have you ever seen you play it? And uh, if you haven't, you need to go download it. It's free to play, man. Go play it. It's on mobile, Android, and PC right now. We're going to be doing an Indiegogo in February to help fund building an expansion for the game called Unleashed. And the first goal is to get it onto iOS. Got any gold I can spend? I'm gonna need gold. gold. This is a this is an actual. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna stop playing this version, and I'm gonna go and play the actual PC version. No, Rage is awesome, dude. It's you gotta play it. The, if you look in my uh, my about section, of uh, oops, of my um, of my Twitch, there's a link to Itchio there, and you can go download it. You can get to the Google page from there, and you can also download it. And, you can download the PC version two ways. You can just download the file and then run, run the uh, the executable from within inside the Windows folder, or you can use their app. I would suggest the app only because when I update the game, you'll get you can update it through the app, and you won't have to download the whole thing again. Um, okay, so I was. If I remember correctly, I was saving up. Yeah, because I had 19,000. I was saving up for something. What was I saving up for? I can't remember. I think I was saving up for the gold magnet. So. We're going to grab a fighter and we're going to go to the dungeon. Because I find he's better in here. Honestly, guys, I did not plan to play Rage tonight, but um, it's a good way to draw people into the stream and 
talk about it. And if anybody has any questions about indie game development or the processes that I did to make the game, I'm more than happy to explain everything. Um, right now, I just I'm just really really concentrating on trying to get the indie game going. So that we can get as much money as possible. I want as many people as I can to get to play in this game, and that's yeah. I want to make money, but right now there's no way to earn money in this game. We haven't. Google's got ads that run. It's got banner ads that run in the game, but we make nothing from those. So we're really not going to make any money from this game until we do get the expansion in, because at that point we're going to be adding in in game. Aim at purchases. That's what I was going to say. Um, for stuff like gold, gems, and then there's going to be a new thing called artifacts, and you're going to need those artifacts. You're going to need to buy one to be able to open up the secret areas. So those are all going to be things that you can buy with real world money. So. those who haven't seen him, he's a slime. Other quality of life improvements we're going to be making is we're going to be adding a recharge animation to these buttons so you can tell when your power is ready. We just couldn't get it at the same time for launch, but it will be. magnet guys so that I don't lose coins like that. No fall damage. And of course it's fine. Pardon me buddy. And I think we're going to leave it that way, because I like the fact that you can, um, you can get, you can evade him. We may change that in the future, I don't know, we'll see how it works. I think once we get the rage bar increase in, which I'm hoping will be in for this hotfix, we may set it up so that he can um, get, through, get through the doorways. Like, little tweaks like that we're making as we go 
um, as we play it and as we get more feedback. Um, that's why I'm encouraging everybody, just go download it and play it. You know, we really could use feedback on how the game plays, on how the game The uh, rage bar increase, that was that was an idea that somebody gave us that was playing it. It would be a really good idea if you know, the boss didn't spawn right away and you could upgrade that. So we put the rage increase in there because it made sense, right? So this table over here, I just put in, let's see if it works. Why is that not working? Ah, I'm gonna have to check that out. out in the other room he's breaking things we gave them the ability to break stuff because we found during testing that they were getting caught on things um, also it's it's a kind of like a thing where if you let them break too many things they take away your gold right because you can't smash them so it's a good thing it can be a bad thing is what I mean alright well let's go kill this guy You guys can see it. Uh... He breaks apart just like the Minecraft slime. He splits into uh, into two. Slime boss. He's pretty cool. The boss for the, uh, I guess, I mean, you're going to learn it in the Indiegogo anyway. The boss, we're going to do a pirate themed level and the boss for that's going to be water based. I have a couple ideas. I haven't quite decided which one I want to use yet. And then the Flint's, we have a Flintstone office level that we're going to be doing. It's an office level, but everything's Flintstone style furniture. Um, so that's going to require me to make some custom assets. So that's why, again, why we're asking for money during the Kickstarter or for the Indiegogo, because I'm going to need a little bit of money to, to pay for the Z brush and the substance painter. I need to be able to actually make those, uh, those objects because I hate Blender. I will not use Blender. Some people love it. I hate it. Can't stand the UI. 
So I use Zed Brush and Substance Painter to make my stuff. And then I unwrap and rig in uh, Cinema 4D. Okay so, okay, so this is working now. So you can see how it says, hey, your stash is getting, you're, you're getting close to your stash. So when I was in the level and I was collecting gold, I didn't notice it, but that was flashing to tell you, hey, you're getting close to what your max stash is. So why are you collecting 50,000 gold when you can only hold 40,000, right? So that's something new that we just put in, which is cool. So I have 36,000. I only need four grand more to be able to get a magnetic level. So I think I'm going to wait and uh, do one more. Uh... Let's do the mage in the tavern. He does really well in here because his AOE attacks hit everything. so good I mean unreal just does lighting so well Do one more. The tavern level is really quick because it's so small. And I did that on purpose because it's the starter level, right? I think these tables, I, I might lower the, uh, the HP on that. She just knocked my picture picking over. <laughs> Scared herself. <laughs> That's my boss again. Okay, Coco. going on behind me. Give me a sec, guys. You just knocked it over, you DP. Here, so everybody can see. Hey, everybody. This is my... This is Coco. Say hi, Coco. Hi, Coco. Yeah, lick the lick the mic. That's always a good thing. Oh, well, that's me over there. Go get her. <laughs> what a dog. She's literally a windstorm. That's that's <laughs> how I describe my dog. She's literally a windstorm. When you hold her, she's like hair everywhere. Party favorite. She's a party favorite. Yeah. All right. So what am I at? Oh, almost there. Um, let's do a tavern again. I don't want to do a dungeon because that's just take too long. Let me 
all the gold. Not just some of it, but all of it. You can't ignore the boss because if he hits you, he takes your gold away. So you can't ignore the boss. So, and we did that on purpose. So, um, that's why we added the rage bar increase so that you can increase your rage so that you have more time to farm before they appear. So, oh, it's so freaking close. So close. But this is part of the game. This is the grind, right? This is all part of it. I mean, when I played Diablo, that's all it was. Grinding the same level over and over and over again, hoping to get that one drop that you want, right? And that's the same thing here, right? Um... Like I was mentioning earlier, the secret levels that right now there are a couple secret areas, but those are going to be closed eventually. Um, and what you're going to have to do to get to them is you're going to have to get an artifact. And an artifact, if it's in your inventory, it, the, the, the door or entryway or whatever's in your way will become breakable. So... Like, if you go up to the door that's normally there and you don't have an artifact, and you swing at it, it'll just, nothing happens. But if you have the artifact in your inventory, then you can hit it, smash it, and then get into the into the area. So, and those areas are going to have huge rewards. Tons of gold, tons of gems. Um, we've even toyed with the idea of putting equipment in the game, but we're going to have to see how that goes. Um, all right, 40k. Thank you. Okay, so let's go to upgrades. Gold magnet unlock. Thank you. Okay. So now I want to see what happens. Fighter dungeon. I want to see how much it affects. not bad. I mean, you don't have to be right up against it anymore. That's good. And as you increase that, as it goes up level, the, the area of effect gets wider and wider. So eventually, you'll be able to walk, like, within you know, five feet of the goal, and it'll all suck to you. So, yeah, you don't have to be, like, right up against it anymore. So that's good. And that's only for a level. Right, look at that. I don't have to be right on it now. It pops into it. You don't have to be right up against it anymore. Yeah, it looks about three, four feet. Yeah. Which is cool. So, yeah. So, uh... I was planning on streaming for four hours, but I'm running out of content, guys. I didn't prepare ahead. Um, so I'm wondering if maybe we should stop it at the two hour mark there. And then maybe on Wednesday, I will prepare ahead and do some more content so that I can do the four hour stream. Because the whole, per the whole point is to do, to do a four hour, I want to do four hour streams. And I think if I see the interest increase, so this is the part where you guys come in, people watching YouTube as well. If I see a real interest in this stream, then I will probably switch it to three days a week and I'll probably be doing an all day stream. So from like eight till four or eight till five. 
Um, but again, it all depends on who's watching, how many people are watching, what part of the day. I'm gonna try nighttime streaming to see how much, how many people we watch and how popular it is. And then I'm probably gonna try like maybe, maybe not next week, not this week, maybe next week, I'll try doing one stream during the day. Like I'll start at like eight in the morning and I'll stream right straight through and we'll see how that goes. Just to do some experimenting to see what the best times for for this stuff is. Because I'm not gaming per se. I'm more of a Q&A question information channel with some gameplay and reviews mixed in. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how this goes. So, you know, if you have, if anybody out there as an indie game developer new, you know, uh, wants to know a little bit more about what's going on with the game industry and they want tips and tricks and all that stuff. I mean, I, like I said, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm seasoned, but I'm not, I'm not 20 year veteran or anything. But I do know quite a bit because I've worked on a couple of games my, myself and, and I worked with Missing Worlds Media for like almost seven years, a little over seven years um, as their lead artist and then later as their art director so uh i have a quite a bit of knowledge to share so yeah so thank you very much for watching and uh thank you for the follows and for the uh, gifted sub cabot really appreciate that and uh Nobody has any more questions. We will uh, probably end the stream there. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to follow, subscribe. And if you haven't yet, go download Rage. It's an awesome game. It's fun to play. The Chronicle is fun too. The link is in my description for my por my my profile on itch.io so yeah the rage is fun i suggest headphones and dark it's a very fun game and if you want to scare yourself silly it's definitely a game for that yeah thank you very much for watching as always may the hue be with you and we will see you on wednesday bye for now